guys, it's Misty. So welcome to another weekly weigh-in video on a Tuesday. It's Tuesday, March 1st. Um, I apologize for not getting videos up the last two Sundays. The weekend before last, um, my asthma was out of control um, crazy. We had five or six days of nearly 100% humidity here in Dallas, and breathing was an issue. So that Sunday, I just didn't feel good. Lily was still here. I, you know, I made lunch. I took a nap, and I woke up, and I just didn't feel like talking to the camera because I needed to save my air. <laughs> so, Roxy, leave it alone. Hey, that's not to eat. Sorry, guys. She's always messing up a video, and G. So I weighed in the last time you saw me at 4:05, and I'm weighing in today at 4:12.6. Um, the first weight gain, I wasn't really sure where it came from because I had an awesome week. I ate what I was supposed to. I was getting extra steps in. I really thought it was maybe from the steroid because I was on, what, two or three different plus an antibiotic and I really thought that was what it was. This past week, I ate like crap. Um, I ate whatever I wanted. I didn't care and I think a lot of that has to do with I can really feel my depression um, worsening and it's getting worse because um, our life is changing again. Um, if you guys follow me, you know that this past summer my brother moved in because um, he and his wife had separated because um, of some infidelity issues and they're getting back together. So Bo is moving out this week and it's been kind of rough on me. It's actually hit me harder than I thought it would. And I can't cry because I'm not wearing water <laughs> waterproof mascara. But I basically cried all day Sunday and all day Monday just because I'm worried. I'm just really worried. I, I'm a firm believer in a leopard doesn't change its spots and history repeats itself. And I hope that I'm proven wrong. So that's all I really want to say about that. But yeah, so I... I got up this morning. Um, I was off yesterday. That's another thing. I have cellulitis again. Um, it's in my belly button, which is the weirdest spot ever. But what was that? Five or six years ago. It must have been four or five years ago. I had an abscess in my belly, behind my belly button. And my doctor thinks um, there may be some issues with that from a few years back. So he said two times is iffy. And he's like, third strike, you're out. You have to have a CT scan and we have to see if something's going on. So I hope that this is the last time this happens. <laughs> because the last thing I want to do is have to have anything drain or go under the knife or be back in the hospital. This is my year. This is my, the, my word of the year is health. And I've already been sick. And it's barely March. First day of March. So I am trying to get that depression under control. Depression is a liar. Depression is a thief. Depression tells you things, you know, to really tear you down. And I am trying my hardest not to listen, but some days are rougher than others. And I said, like, with this transition, it's been it's been harder than <laughs> it's been harder than I thought it would be. And I'm I'm basically the one pushing him out and telling him that he has to go. But I think it's time for him to get back on his feet. And if this is his decision, it has to be his decision, and he has to go ahead and go through with it. So. Uh, this week, let's see, Monday, I ate not great. Um, we went to In-N-Out last night for dinner, and I had um, a protein-style burger, which means they wrap it in lettuce, but I had fries with it because I wanted to. Um, this morning, I had a couple of breakfast burritos and chips and queso, so I've basically been eating like shit the last seven days, and it'll probably continue until the end of the week. And I'll be over it and I'll be, you know, hopefully back on track. Um, I get this way, um, especially when I'm really trying to diet and exercise and worry about my weight and those kinds of things. I get about seven weeks in and I'm like, Ugh, I'm so tired of focusing on it. And I have like a bad week or two and then I get right back on it. So it sets me, sets me back a little bit and I totally get that. It doesn't make any sense other than I will either eat my emotions or spend my emotions and I don't have any money. So no, I'm not making any excuses. It is what it is. I'm 30, you know, 37, about to be 38. This is how it's been probably all of my adult life. And I know I need to change it, but right now 
I don't want to. So, it, well, that's not the case. The depression tells me I don't want to. And I'm trying to work through that. So, I think once Rob and I get our big credit card paid off, um, we have about $2,200 more on that from 15000 from last year. Thank you very much. I'm going to really start looking for a therapist again. I tried looking last year, but I got really, really discouraged because so many people were like, oh, you know, we have a month waiting list or we have a six-week waiting list or we have an eight-week waiting list. I'm like, I am the type of person who feels like I need something now. Like, I want to fix it now. I don't want to fix it six months down the road. I want to take care of the issue now. So that was really discouraging to me. And it, I just need to start looking again. So I do think I need therapy. Um... Yeah, and I probably need to up my antidepressant. I haven't been taking my anti-anxiety medicine. Um, I haven't really been experiencing anxiety until my drive home today. And I drove home through the neighborhood that was destroyed by the tornado, which is just basically a street behind us. And I hate driving that way. It, it just breaks my heart to know that so many people lost their homes the day after Christmas. And it just, it's just... Growing up in Oklahoma, tornadoes are such, they're such routine. And that's not even the right word. It's just death and destruction is just something you expect in the in the spring. And to have it happen the day after Christmas in a city that I don't think has ever had a tornado, it was just really kind of, whoa. So I'm feeling, like I said, the anxiety was quick and it passed, but again, I just have to get things under control. And so I work this week and next week. And then the week after that, I'm on spring break. And I'm going to take that time to really buckle down and get basically get my shit together, for lack of a better term or turn of phrase. And, you know, make sure I've got some meals cooked ahead. Rob and I have decided not to eat out this month. So starting today, March 1st, we are not eating out. And we are working on putting all of our extra money toward this credit card because we want to get it paid off. So I will be doing a whole lot of cooking. I will try to film a couple of videos for this channel. Um, I have some biscuits that I'm going to make with almond flour. And then I'm going to, I've been promising people my fried quinoa. And I need to, I need to follow through. So that might be actually this weekend. I'll try to film a couple of videos for that. So yeah, guys, that's it. I'm basically back up to where I started from. And um, this is kind of true to form for me. What do you see, Roxy? Huh? What? What's the matter? So yeah, but anyways, just know that I really appreciate all your kind words. I need to answer comments. I haven't done that in a little bit. But thank you guys so much for sticking with me and just having my back and just knowing that, you know, this is real life. This isn't scripted. This isn't, you know, me trying to sell a weight loss product or anything like that. This is me being fat for 36 years or 34 years and trying to, you know, change a lifetime of habits and it's going to take time and I'm I'm okay with that you know I'm I'm putting the work in um the the main thing to remember is let this happen and then get right back on it so that's it guys hopefully I'll have better news for you this weekend I doubt it because I'm I don't want to say that I'm just going to eat like crap all week I am going to do my best to make sure I'm, you know, eat what I have in the refrigerator. I made a soup and I've got um, chicken salad. So I'm gonna try to stick to that. You know, go back to drinking my smoothies, those kinds of things. But anyway, so thanks guys so much. If you are struggling, know that I, you are on my mind. And, you know, email me if you need some, you know, to talk or if you want some motivation or if you just need to vent. You know, feel free to take, you know, take time to email me and I will do my best to answer you. If you don't email, you know, you can always message me on Facebook, um, whatever you need to do. And um, I'm not adding people that I don't know on Facebook. So if we haven't chatted or I don't know you, know you even if I, you know, we've talked online, I'm not going to add you to my personal Facebook. I have considered starting a Facebook for the, like, my online friends and I may end up doing that so let me know in the comments if that's something that you're interested in but that's it guys that's all I got for you today I will see you on Sunday bye for now